Church of St. Michael, Vienna. St. Michael's Church is one of the oldest churches in Vienna, Austria, and also one of its few remaining Rom Romanesque buildings. It's dedicated to the Archangel Michael. St. Michael's Church is located at Michaela Platz, across from St. Michael's Gate at the Hofburg Palace. St. Michael's used to be the parish church of the Imperial Court when it was called Zum Heiligen Michael. Over its long history, spanning more than eight centuries, the church has incorporated a medley of architectonic styles. The church is a late Romanesque, early Gothic building dating from about 1220 to 1240. There is a document giving 1221 as the foundation date of the church, but this is most probably a 14th century forgery. Over time, there have been many alterations resulting in its present-day aspect unchanged since 1792. The interior of the church consists of a nave and two aisles that have conserved the ancient Gothic structure. The side chapels were added later on. It gives the impression of a robust three-dimensional building, despite the church low height. The polygonal apse was replaced in the 4th century by an early Gothic choir with three bays. The central and the northern choir chapels were refitted in Baroque style. The high altar was designed in 1782. It is decorated with a monumental stucco alabaster, rococo sculpture, full of the angels. The gilded pipe organ by Johann David Sieber is the largest baroque organ in Vienna. It was once played by the 17-year-old Josef Hayden in 1749. Mozart's Requiem was performed for the first time in his church at a memorial service for the composer on 10th December 1791. St. Michael's is famous for its Michaela Gruft, a large crypt located underneath the church. Aristocrats were able to access their family crypts through marble slabs marked with their coats of arms in the church floor. The coffin of a deceased member of the family could then be lowered directly into the crypt via these marble slats. Due to the special climatic conditions and constant temperature in the crypt, more than 4,000 corpses were kept well preserved. Hundreds of mummified corpses, some still in imperial finery or with a wig, are on display, some in op open coffins adorned with flowers or skulls, others decorated with Baroque paintings or with vanitas symbols. That's it for today guys. Thanks for listening and for watching. See you around. Bye.